mean is hack sl uh, uh, Mars Attacks like Hack Slash is gory and absurd. It loves to be absurd, uh, in-your-face gory comedy. That's what I like about it, is that it, it, it knows to have be violent and funny. So I think it would be hilarious, like, even Vlad and Cassie are like, what in the fuck are we doing? We're fighting these angry little Martians, and the Martians would just be like, ugh, pretty woman. And they, I can honestly see them, like, they capture Cassie, strap her down, and prepare to probe her. I know I'm being kind of sexual, uh, I'm making a few badly made sexual innuendos, but if you've read Hack Slash, you kind of know that they really objectify Cassie. <laughs> but she's cool nonetheless. She's a total badass, and I think it'd be great to see her, like, take a baseball bat to one of the Martians' suits, just break the glass, and it just starts gasping for air. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But again, I think um, you could. I can honestly see Mars attacks Hack Slash working because again, it, it has the same level of absurdity as um, Hack Slash does, and I think you could do something like you could go balls out with this. You could go. You could do a totally balls to the wall, gory action um, horror. Not really much horror, but gory action comedy story with them. I could definitely see like Vlad encounter, like Vlad just stomping on the on the Martians, or using one of the Martians' guns. And even, like, Vlad and Cassie are just like, they don't believe it's aliens. Not only do they believe they're being attacked by Martians, but they're also being attacked by Martians that look like this. You probably, if you guys know what the Mars Attacks aliens look like, then you know what I'm talking about. So, I think they would just be in a world of total disbelief with them. <laughs> Again, it, I think it would just be a lot of fun for Mars Attacks Hackslash. So, at number two, number two is like a culmination of a bunch of things, and I'll try my best to explain it. Mars attacks the slashers, and what I mean is stuff, people like Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, Michael, uh, Ghostface, and Hell, and uh, Pinhead. Now, I don't think there's been a, there hasn't been a Halloween or, I, um, shit, what is it, and Scream comics. I don't, I know there was a few Halloween comics done by Wildstorm, but I don't think there's ever been a Scream comic. Not to my knowledge, at least. But um, when Wildstorm... I'm pretty sure DC still owns the rights, because Wildstorm, when they ended Wildstorm, Wildstorm did, uh, J um, did Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre comics. They did those. And I think they did one or two Halloween comics, to my knowledge. I know there are Halloween comics out there. But I don't think they're under... I think they're under Wildstorm. I'm not really sure. Anywho, this is something that is something I've always wanted. I mean, when I, as I mentioned earlier, there was a Hack Slash Chucky crossover with, uh, where they did meet, where Chucky was under Wildstorm, and I'm surprised, and they did mention, and Chucky did mention, you know, Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface. So I think it'd be great to see them kind of do like a build-up sequel to that, and have, um, maybe not just all of them at once, maybe not just Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface all at once, but maybe you could do uh, one at a time, like a series, like uh, Hack Slash and Friday the Thirteenth, and Friday the Thirteenth, and then Nightmare on Elm Street, and then uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It kind of, it really does right for itself for those. But again, I'm, I think DC still owns the rights to those characters because that was under Wildstorm. But for fuck, I don't know. Maybe they gave them back to, you know, the respective movie companies they're in. I don't freaking know. Again, and also. This one, out of all of them, the one that seems more likely, but again, Boom's never done crossovers, so I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you for sure, is Hack Slash and Hellraiser. And I put it under the slashes as well, because he Boom Studios is doing a lot with Hellraiser, so I think it would be cool to see a more serious Hack Slash story with the, with, with the Cenobites in it. I think that would be very much, I think it would be a very darker realm story. That's the thing. I'm... Hell's, I like the Hellraiser movies, but they're not really one of my favorites. But out of all of them, because again, I don't know what happened to the to the license, the comic book license for Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface, and the other ones. But hell, if I had to make a bet, if they were going to do another Slashers crossover, it would definitely be with Hellraiser because they've done they've done Chucky, and they technically did um, the Reanimator. They've done uh, they've done the Reanimator in the Hack Slash comic itself. So I'm wondering. Would they be willing to do that again? So you never know. I'd really like to see out of all of them, Hack Slash versus Nightmare on Elm Street, because obviously Freddy's my favorite character, and I just love. And I think Freddy would just have a uh, have a lot of uh, you know trying to screw 
in both sense of the words with Cassie. I think in both sense of the words. Again, I know I'm sounding like I'm objectifying Cassie a lot, but let's face it, Cassie is is not only a badass character, but she's also really objectified, and that's kind of the point of her character, because if you've seen hacks, at least the hack slash covers with her on them, you'll see what I mean. So I'm not trying to be a, you know, I'm not trying to pull the sexist card here, I'm just saying that that's what Cassie's there. She's not only being badass, but she's kind of, she's there to be eye, gothic eye candy as well, so, yeah. So that's my number two. Um, now moving on to number one, and this is the one that's really, really, really the most unlikely, but I really, really, really want to see it. And that is Hackslash and Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. I love Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. It is so good. And it has the level of horror, comedy, and absurdity that Hackslash does. And God, it just kind of writes itself. Jo um, Hackslash versus Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. I mean, yeah, you could argue that, oh, their art styles are totally different. I've seen Hackslash drawn in different styles, so I'm so, if they wanted to make Johnny different or draw in the style of, like, the Hackslash comics or draw the, um, or draw Cassie and Vlad as the char as char as character draw drawn in um, how they would be look like in a in Johnny's universe and look like and have Joan and Vasquez do that. Yeah, I'm cool either way. You could go either way in terms of art style, but yeah, you could it could just literally be Cassie and Vlad fighting Johnny, and in the end they team up to fight some uber god slasher thing. I don't fucking know, but. Again, this really just writes itself. There, there. You could have so much dark comedy. You could have so much blood and gore. You could have so much banter between uh, Vlad and uh, Vlad and Cassie talking to Johnny. And you could bring in the other characters too. You could bring in, you know, you could even bring a cameo by Zim I, from Invader Zim. I'd totally be down for that. You know, just have a little character in the background that's like, is that Zim? Yeah, it's Zim. It's kind of like how they brought in, it may, they did a quote-unquote cameo of Mabel from Gravity Falls in the MLP comics. Yeah. So, yeah, most definitely Hackslash and Join the Homicidal Maniac. The reason why I say it's that's the that's really, really impossible is because Joan and Vasquez has kind of left that, uh, the John and the Homicidal Maniac stuff behind. He still loves it, but he's kind of left that chapter closed, and it's... I don't know if... Sl yeah, Slave Labor Graphics is still around, but they don't do crossovers per se, so... Yeah, that one's the most unlikely, and I re I'm really upset that it's... that even though that's the one I most want, that's the one that's m the most unlikely, so... Yeah. Anyway, guys, that is my list. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and once again, this is just my list. This is, uh... You know, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not saying these are the top ten things and you should listen to me. No, I'm just saying, you know, this is stuff that I would really like to see. If you have something on here that, that should have been higher or lower or shouldn't have been on the list or should have been on the list, that's totally fine, you know. Every, um, I'm really curious to see what you guys would, would like to see in terms of, like, a hack slash crossover. Um, I don't talk enough about hack slash. That's, that's uh, shame on me. I, I feel bad about that, that I don't talk enough about this because it's... But then again, it's kind of like when I talked about Rin Daughters of Minosomy when I did that review, because that series is very like like the, like Rin. This series is very is not, I can't recommend this for everyone because it's bloody, it's absurd, it's not, it, this is for like people who enjoy horror com horror, horror movies from the eighties or from the early seven from the late seventies and you know the hammer horror stuff or someone who just enjoys you know a dark comedy. That's for that's what I kind of recommend this thing for. So, yeah, that's uh, that's really all to say about this. I I hope you guys enjoyed this list. This was really hard, and that's why I, you know, it was hard for me to pick out all of these uh, lists. And there are still other ones that I wanted to do. Uh, I'd like to see hack slash crossover with. But anyway, guys, uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this list, and I will see you guys later.